This exercise is called side glide and standing. This is based on the McKenzie method assessment and should be guided by your clinician only, not just done randomly. The side glide is typically performed when sagittal plane and forward and back bending has been ruled out and someone has what's called a lateral component to their problem. Again, it should be assessed by your McKenzie method clinician. How to perform a side glide, what you do is you need a wall or a door. Um, for this one here, I'm gonna perform what's called left side glide and standing because I'm closing down on the left side. This can also be done on the other side depending on the, the presentation or how your clinician uh, decided which way for you to go. So what you do is you lean your shoulder and your elbow against the wall, bend the elbow at 90 degrees. This creates space for your belt line or your hips to side glide toward the wall. So you simply want to glide in and back off. So you're nice and tall, not leaning forward, not leaning back, just gliding the hip in and back. If it hurts, just kiss the pain and return. If it starts getting easier, push further into it until it hurts. If it doesn't hurt at all, push all the way to end range. Now, if you're pushing all the way to end range and you're buttoned up against the wall, you need to walk your feet out a little bit to make more room. Now, if you're very flexible and you're way out here and you're still touching the wall, what you can do is take a pad like this, or if you don't have one, probably don't. You can roll up a towel or a, or a blanket or use a pillow. And you can place this on your shoulder and elbow to create some space for you to glide. Now I have plenty of space to, space to glide when I'm upright and not on an aggressive angle. So I can simply glide here. When you're doing these, you wanna do them typically reps of 10, 10 times every three to four hours, or otherwise guided by your clinician, about 50 times a day. On the 10th rep, if you're getting to full end range, what you wanna do is keep that hip closed down and then lean back as far as you can go, kiss the pain, or if there's no pain there, lean back further, breathe out, and return. Right? The biggest mistake with that move is that people will push it here and then as they lean back, they come out of it. You have to maintain that glide in in order to be effective on that last rep. Another mistake is too is that the elbow will start to come forward. When that happens, it's not blocking your ribs and you'll start hitting the door too soon. Right? You don't want to be doing stuff like this. Right? So make sure that elbow stays in tucked. You're gliding in as far as you can go, but you're not at an aggressive angle. Right? And then finally, what I like to do is get to my end range, but then scoot up against the wall just for some support so I can feel it. Keep it there. Lean back. Breathe out and return.